Hi everyone, this is Jess and I'm back with a fun little video for you today. This is just a commission that I just finished of a beautiful tabby cat. Um, I did it first with pencil and paper, scanned into my computer and now um, I am colouring it in Photoshop. So as you can see I'm just cleaning up the pencil drawing here, um, erasing any pencil lines I didn't want and then moving on to the colouring stage with the colour on a separate layer. Um, that's the photograph that I had as reference on the left and I just start by doing light to dark colours so sort of creams and greys um, to put in the light that's on the cat's face and uh, yeah I'm just putting that in there. I had some nice warm tones as well and the brushes I'm using are a mixture of brushes, um, all from Kyle T. Webster's packs, uh, the dry media. I particularly like the pastels, and I'm using a soft pastel for the majority of this work. And later on, I also use some, uh, some watercolour brushes, just for uh, whiskers and more detailed work, but this blocking in right now, that's all just a pastel brush. Um, I have it on multiply so that the colour builds up and as you can see I'm just blocking in colour and then gradually uh, bringing up the saturation just by painting on top. So I'm going to let you go ahead and just finish watching this video of me here uh, colouring in the cat. I hope you enjoy it. It's a, definitely a more realistic piece of art that I don't really show on my channel very much. Typically I only show my children's book illustrations, but I can also do realism, so <laughs> I actually really enjoy realism. And it's fun to get to do a project like this. So this is a good way for you, if you are starting to think about doing more realistic art, um, watching other people do it I do find is uh, a good way to learn and it's just trial and error really you just want to practice 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 and sometimes when I put down a colour you'll see very quickly that I may not like it um, oftentimes I make it too saturated and I want to show kind of a grayer tone in the background so it looks like the cat's really coming through the tree. So what I'll do is I will use the lasso tool and just kind of lasso around an area that I want to change the tone on and I'll go to command U and I will change either I'll take the saturation down a little bit or I may even change the color as well a little bit just on the top just kind of changing the what colour I'm seeing if I don't like the way it came out the first time that I coloured it. So that's a good thing to know, just in case you've coloured something and you're like, oh, it's too red. You can always just grab it with the lasso tool, go to Command U, and you can start to sort of change the colours. You can move it to more of a yellow, um, anything that you want to change. You don't, just because you put it down doesn't mean it's done and you, <laughs> and you have to erase it all and start again. That's the wonderful thing about Photoshop. 